Possession of weapons for unlawful purposes. 2C39-4. Okay, this is uh, the second in a series of videos about possessing a weapon without first having purchased a New Jersey firearms purchaser's ID card or um, a permit issued by government. On uh, the previous video, uh, I addressed 2C39-5, which I would consider sort of a baseline. You know, you don't have the the permit and you do have possession of the weapon, automatic third-degree crime, automatic mandatory minimum jail time of at least a couple of years, usually it's three years, without possibility of parole. Now I want to add a layer on top of that of enhancement to talk about possessing a weapon, really of any kind, with intent to use it for an unlawful purpose uh, and without you know, any permission from government to have that weapon. Um, okay, so under 2C39-4, there are uh, sections A through E. Possession of a firearm, whether it's a handgun or a rifle or a shotgun, uh, if you are deemed to be using it for an unlawful purpose, it's automatic second-degree crime. That means, uh, if convicted, imposition of a fine of up to $150,000, uh, minimum five years, maximum 10 years prison with a presumption of incarceration, which means virtually no way you're getting out of this for less than five years, uh, and, of course, the criminal felony record. Now, there is something called persons not to possess, and what that means is if you've been convicted of a violent crime in the past, you know, you would never be eligible to get a permit from government. And therefore, it's a double whammy because you knew or should have known you shouldn't be carrying this weapon around, you know, because you could be using it for an unlawful purpose, like an armed robbery, like a serious assault. Um, so that's the situation with regard to guns. Uh, paragraph B talks about explosives. That's something everybody should obviously know. You know, you carry an explosives right away. It's a problem because there's no real good purpose for it unless you're a farmer and you're using it to blow up a beaver dam on your property or something, right? Uh, destructive devices other than guns or bombs. Uh, paragraph D is other weapons. Any person who has in his possession any weapon except a firearm with purpose of it's used unlawfully against the person or property of this guilty crime in the third degree. So, you know, if you have a bow and arrow or, it's, well, you know, that kind of a thing, that's a third degree crime, punishable by a minimum three years, maximum five years, um, criminal felony record, and a fine of up to $15,000. Still pretty serious. Um, and then, of course, there's a paragraph E deals with imitation firearms. You know, the guy that holds up the store with a water gun, um, you know, of course, he still commits armed robbery, but if the gun's imitation, that gun offense is only a fourth degree crime, not a second or a third. Okay. Um, you know, this uh, statute, I had one of these one time that was really interesting. I mean, the, the garden variety you get is a guy who has prior theft or robbery offenses, goes out, commits an aggravated assault either in a domestic violence case with his wife or he goes into a store or a bank and commits an armed robbery. Then you get that plus, you know, this 39-4, which is a, a real double whammy. Uh, so it makes it virtually certain that you're going to have some jail. The question is how much. Um, but I had one that I, that I beat that I can remember, and it's a really interesting case because it's off the beaten path. Um, I had a guy who was a jockey, a racehorse jockey, who had a prior criminal record for theft. And he was stopped one night, and he had a cattle prod under the front seat of his car. Now, his argument was, this is part of my professional tools. I use this at the racetrack, you know, on my horses. It's not a weapon that is intended to be used against people. They charged him with two very serious offenses, the 2C39-5 and the 2C39-4. I was able to get the whole thing dismissed. Because why? Because... That the cattle prod is not a weapon that's enumerated under the first sections of this Title 39 Act. And therefore, they really couldn't make the case that it was something that they could convict him of possessing unlawfully. Um, these are very, very serious cases. Uh, you, you know, if convicted, there's going to be jail time imposed without possibility of parole. 
Again, the question is how much? Um, you know, I, I've had I had a case with a young man who had a, a knife and you know walked to somebody and uh, said, "Look, give me your money, or I'm going to kill you." He was 19 years old. He was charged with first degree armed robbery and uh, this 39 dash four, which is unlawful possession of a weapon for unlawful purposes. Um, looking at 25 years uh, possible. So at that point, he would have been 44 years old when he got out, and of course his life would have been thoroughly ruined. I was able to get him a plea bargain for five flat, and he had to do 85% of that under the No Early Release Act. So now he was getting out when he's 24. Big, big, big difference. And that's the kind of thing that can be accomplished um, with this very serious set of possessory handgun offenses. My name is Stephen A. Gravatt. My telephone number is 732 Three three seven seven nine two two. If you or anybody knows been charged with one of these, I can help. Thank you. Have a good day.